One of the things that I've discovered in my research on energy is a set of statistics that were just completed uh, two years ago now um, that provides a comparative list, it's just a long list of numbers about energy use in Canada from 1800 to 2010 in petajoules by kind of energy. It's energy consumption in Canada and uh, by John Thistle and uh, Richard Unger. And it's part of a international series of such calculations. So we are able now to make, so and it's to, the categories of energy consumption are divided into the kinds of energy. So the organic energy regime of uh, wood, wind, and water, and animal power, and on the other hand, the fossil fuels and electricity. So that's coal, oil, gas, and electricity, and also nuclear. So the, the book is basically a compendium, just tables of how much energy is consumed in Canada by that. So this, this set of statistics is almost the first set of really comprehensive, uh, you know, set of data. What they tell us is what we've known for a long time, but not as early as 1800, that can the Canadians are distinctive in a number of ways compared to other uh, North American and European countries. And where we're so different is that Canadians are amongst the, the largest consumers of energy, period. Like they, they're just across the board. And of course, that ties in with our cold and dark and vast um, country. Um, but the other surprising difference is, surprising for Canadians who have seen our history as becoming a modern industrial na uh, nation in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, is that Canada in fact made the switch relatively late to the modern fuels, fossil fuels and, and electricity. In fact, if Britain had gone to um, a 50 percent modern uh, fuel economy by the by the mid uh, 19th century. So it was getting more than 50%. And I think by the, I, I won't throw away around the statistics because I'll get them wrong, but um, they were, they had, Britain was the first to industrialize and it was heavily, heavily dependent on fossil fuels by the middle of the 19th century. And certainly by the end, it had, had reached that threshold of around 90% dependence on that. For Canada, it was not until the 1970s that we reached that, that point. And at the, in 1941, Canadians were still getting more of their energy from wood than they were from fossil fuels. Now, part of that issue, of course, is just we have had so much wood. We haven't really had a lot of coal. Most of our coal is, in fact, imported, aside from certain studies of Vancouver Island and other parts of BC, and of course, um, Cape Breton, where there's lots of coal, but for the most part, uh, Canadians have relied heavily on wood. But I think that another part of, of that story is not simply that Canadians had more wood and so used it. I think part of that story ties in with how rural Canada was until the mid, till really till the mid 20th century. Um, and I won't get into the actual details, but uh, yeah, a lot of people were living in rural areas by the middle of, still in, in, the, in the 20th century. And unlike people in other countries, the rural Canadians had free, I'll just say free access to their own land and to the energy supplies on their own land, at least the energy supplies on the surface, um, and to food. Canadian, Canadian rural people drew really heavily on what they could get from the land and from water. They, they could go hunting, they could go fishing, they could, and they did that on their own and of course on other people's lands. It wasn't until towards the middle of the, of the 20th century that, that poaching laws and, and game regulations became really, really significant in Canada, or at least enforceable, because Canada is very big and there aren't a lot of roads even now across, across much of it. So um, I, I think that it's arguable that the reason that Canada re remained dependent on organic forms of fuel and energy so much longer than people in, say, Europe or the United States uh, was because we had such, um, such a relatively large rural population that had 
relatively free access to, um, to the bounty of the land. And that made us distinctive in, in a number of ways that show up in these energy statistics.